Tillicum the Orca has died after more than two decades at SeaWorld Orlando, where he gained notoriety for killing a trainer in 2010. It comes as SeaWorld San Diego closes down its theatrical orca shows this weekend. Again, here's Carter Evans. For years, the killer whale known as Tillicum was the star of the show at SeaWorld. I think he spent a lot of time um, in isolation. He was also the star of the controversial film Blackfish. After Tillicum killed trainer Don Branshaw in front of an audience at SeaWorld Orlando in 2010. In the end, you know, he basically just completely mutilated that poor girl. After Blackfish debuted in 2013, SeaWorld faced a backlash and saw a decline in its attendance and revenue. Gabriella Cowperthwaite directed the movie. In some ways we and many other people have kind of forced SeaWorld's hand in a way to make some changes. Tillicum continued to perform hey, until about two months go. ago, but the performance you know, has changed dramatically. Trainers are no longer allowed to swim with the whales. And just this week, SeaWorld said the theatrical orca shows will soon be replaced by an educational presentation in a more natural setting, according to SeaWorld Vice President Brian Morrow. Critics are saying this is not really a complete change. This is just a facelift. Is it in the same theater it was before? Yes, it's in the same space, but the experience and the subject matter and the behaviors and the things you'll see the whales doing, that's all changing. SeaWorld declined to comment on camera about Telecom's death. Marine mammal scientist Naomi Rose says captive whales can face health challenges. These large, wide-ranging, socially complex, intelligent animals are confined in such a small space and in such artificial social groupings. That kind of stress makes it more difficult for them to fight off diseases. Tillicum had been battling a respiratory infection for several months. SeaWorld believes the 36-year-old orca succumbed to that infection, despite receiving what they say was the best medical care possible. Carter Evans, CBS News, San Diego.